What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got a very special snippet for you guys from an interview that I did with Spectacular Smith. Now, if you don't know who Spectacular is, he's one of the four members of R&B group Pretty Ricky. And I mean, man, Pretty Ricky was, they were, they were killing it in the early 2000s, a huge part of my childhood. But not only that, he's the founder of Adwazar. They are known as one of the top companies in the music industry when it comes to monetization through social media. I mean, they've had a lot of awards for that company. But this particular snippet is really a way that you should think about branding, but not just branding, a lot of the moves that you make in industry and in business in general. Check this out. It's the network. I love the fact that you are truly like studying it and not just see yeah. one thing and say, let me go do that thing, trying to trying to catch a wave that's already done. Like, oh, this person has liquor, now let me get liquor. No, oh, no, 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 no. So, you know, like that's dope. Yeah, so what, what I got taught from one of my mentors is if everybody is jumping on it, stay away from it. Mm -hmm. And my mentor I'm talking about is Warren Buffett and not because I know him personally, but because I study him as a mentor. Just because you don't know somebody personally don't mean they can mentor you. So I, I listened to him. He's like, listen, if everybody jumping on it, stay away from it. Like even when he buy his real estate or, or if he buy his investments, if everybody jumping on something, that's when you stay away. And then when everybody running, that's when you go towards it. Yeah. So it was like when the, when, the, when, the, when the market crashed in 2009, everybody was running away from real estate. But the wealthy and the rich realized everything. They, they looked at it as a, in a different light. They're like, oh, shit, this is on discount. Like this is on the discount rack. Let me buy everything. Everybody like, oh, don't, 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 don't. I mean, don't uh, invest in real estate. The market is crashing. All the rich people like, let me get this. Let me get that. Let me get this. Let me get that. And then what is already at rock bottom. So guess what? It has to go back up. So everybody jumping on liquor and that you missed that boat already. That boat is gone. Not saying nobody can't squeeze in, but the, the possibility of you just popping off off of some damn liquor is like, I think that wave is gone. Yeah. So. It's going to be some people that get in, but for majority of the people who think about doing something and you want to have a, a high success rate, it's not going to be something that already popped off. It's the network. All right. So that full conversation can be found on brandmannetwork.com where we had a chance to just chop it up. He's actually one of my favorite interviews to date, but I want to talk about some specific things that he said because we can really expand on this. Number one, the fact that he talked about Warren Buffett being his mentor when Obviously, he doesn't know him in person. That's something that we really got to do more often. I know some people are doing that, but to hear somebody say it that way, I think it's just valuable because you don't necessarily have to know somebody personally to be able to learn from them in that way. But even bigger than that is the way he talked about stocks, right? The, the way that he talked about the marketplace and people investing in real estate more so to actually depict how you should move in different directions. It reminds me of something that I was told when I was in a, uh, a meeting earlier oh it might have been like eight years ago now but a guy was teaching me about stocks and he basically said hey what's your favorite cereal cinnamon toast crunch i love me some cinnamon toast crunch and he was like all right how much cinnamon toast crunch costs i was like mm, you know about three dollars and then when i told him that he was like all right so how would you feel if cinnamon toast crunch all of a sudden um costed like two dollars maybe a dollar fifty cents and i was like Pfft. You know, I, I love it. You know what I mean? It's on sale. Why would I not love? Now I could get more of it. And he was basically saying that that's the key, right? That's how people who do stocks, right? The people who are wealthy are really in the know specifically. Not all wealthy people are in the know about every single stock, but people who are in the know about the marketplace or certain industries when they know what something is worth and they have an idea of the things around it when things drop. They don't panic and run like others do, right? They actually look at it as a discount. They are excited about the drop because now they can get more of it in the same way. I would get more Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If it was like a dollar per box, I would be loaded up. So that's something that's just valuable to keep in mind in general, but also just another testament to the fact that you should kind of study that landscape as an artist you should study that landscape in whatever you do because it, sometimes it could be valuable to not only go the other direction or know when to, you should go the other direction but not only that is just necessary a lot of times to truly be different i see so many artists that are trying to be different but they're really 
molding into the big sphere of what we expect artists to be and look like, as opposed to examining what everybody's actually doing and realizing that if I'm doing what everybody else is doing over here, then I'm not really going to be different. All right, a perfect example, because I'm kind of talking in like uh, overview language is colorful hair. I always use that as example. Today, colorful hair is a great example of how people try to become and look different. And you have to think about the fact that, yes, that might make you look different than Susie who works at McDonald's or Johnny who, you know, wears a suit to work every day. Yeah, you stand out in this crowd, but when it comes to the music industry, you blend in with so many other artists, the people that you're trying to be compared to, you blend in it with. So you have to study the landscape and make decisions according to where you're trying to be seen. And that's the way to think about those things. But other than that, I, I could go on for days, not only about the things that he just said, hold on to those things, really go that opposite direction and study the landscape to figure out when it's the right thing to, to do and to make certain decisions. But other than that, once again, this video could be found on brandmannetwork.com, which of course this is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.